Leader of the Third Party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. All of us have watched with a sense of horror as the political landscape in the United States has deteriorated over the last decade. A man who declared he could shoot someone and still be elected president continues to try to prove his point, being inflammatory, divisive, and hateful commands a following to places that none of us could have imagined. This has happened before. It's not a new playbook to attack public institutions, to diminish our public and political dialogue until we are in an us versus them mentality. I believe that we all care deeply about the well-being of children. Let's consider what is causing children the most harm today. Hunger. One in three food bank users are children. This is shameful. Air pollution worsened by fires. Smoke damage to young lungs can cause lifelong health issues, including asthma. Lack of access to mental health supports for kids growing up in a world that none of us could have ever imagined. A world of technology, of cyberbullying, a world of biodiversity loss and extinction, a world of floods and droughts, a world of climate refugees, a world of unaffordability, too few teachers and education assistants who desperately want to meet the needs of all the children in their classes every day. The dog whistle politics of division, of pitting people against each other, will not solve these very real crises that children are dealing with today. In 2017, when I ran to be an MLA, what mattered most to me was that we built community, not tear it apart. Let all of us commit to rejecting populism and the politics of division and focus on solving the many real and urgent problems we face.